Hello everyone, Dr. Scott Sigmund, Chief of Orthopedics at Lowell General Hospital, here to discuss a revision rotator cuff repair with use of the rotation medical bioinductive implant. The surgery was performed on a 49-year-old left-hand dominant laborer who was a smoker, otherwise healthy, who had a traumatic shoulder injury, and on MRI scan demonstrated a full thickness rotator cuff in August of 2014, underwent a standard arthroscopic double row repair in September. The patient had persistent pain and weakness post-op at three months, and a repeat MRI demonstrated a re-tear with tendon retraction with minimal fat atrophy. A revision surgery was performed with an arthroscopic marginal uh, convergence rotator cuff repair with use of the rotation medical bioinductive implant in December of 2014. The decision to use the implant was uh, based on the fact that this was a revision rotator cuff repair in the setting of a smoker. Here's the preoperative MRI scan three months after the index operation showing that he's gone on to a retear of the rotator cuff with significant retraction. The next image is my intraoperative photo demonstrating this large U-shaped rotator cuff tear of the supraspinatus and infraspinatus complex. The next slide demonstrates our marginal convergence repair demonstrating a near watertight closure with a final image demonstrating the rotation implant in position over top of the repair. Next is a video of the patient demonstrating that at three months post-revision rotator cuff surgery, he has essentially near full painless range of motion, four out of five strength. As most of us would agree, this would be highly unusual to see in the setting of a revision rotator cuff repair at three months to have this type of range of motion. The patient was quite satisfied at this time.